I think makeup for me has just been life-changing. My mom has always been super glamorous. When I was little, she's having me like put on her lipstick for her. This has always been my normal. So for me, like when I grew up, I was like, I want makeup, but I suppressed that forever. And then when I got my first makeup, then it was like, all right, well, we've already put our toe in the water, like swim in the pond. My name is Patrick and I am the stage experience lead at Sephora. Growing up in a smaller town, I was afraid to be who I was. I was afraid to wear what I wanted. One time, I had done like more than normal for school and I had makeup on and I came home that day and I had wiped it off because people were judging me. And my mom asked me, why did you take everything off? I saw the way you looked at yourself when you left and I don't know what changed in between. When I was in the 10th grade, I told five friends that I was gay. By lunchtime, a girl announced to the whole cafeteria that I was gay. And I went to the bathroom and I just cried and let it out and then I went home for the day. I don't know what happened. I don't know if a spirit entered me, but like that night I like made a change. People are gonna tear me down my whole life and tell me that there's things wrong with me and there isn't. I've been at Sephora for seven years. I started right out of high school. One day I was in my mall and I went into the Sephora and I had full makeup on. I'll never forget the woman behind the counter came up to me and was like, hi, you have a job. <laughs> I love working there because I work with really diverse people and I think that Sephora is really getting behind movements and really supporting their people and changing people's lives. It's super important that we change the conversation about makeup because makeup has always been genderless. My gender identity is gender non-binary and my preferred pronouns are they, them. I created a drag persona named Christina. I needed someone who was unapologetic and someone who wasn't afraid to be themselves. When I throw on the wig or I throw on lashes, there's like a little bend in my neck and I just become more confident. And I think that Christina's whole message is to be kind and be nice to people. Christina showed up for me so that I could show up for other people. If I could talk to my 11-year-old self, I would have a long conversation. I would be like, get comfortable. It's okay that I felt different then and that I felt strange and that I felt like a freak because I don't feel like a freak anymore. I think if I could have the world know a couple things about me, I would tell them this isn't a phase. We just want to exist and be happy and have people just accept us for who we are. The inevitable goal is that we would all live in a place where we just loved each other for who we are regardless of who we are. Mm -hmm.